Hello again, I am Jim Bob and welcome back to City Skylines Mass Transit here and JBPG City on the PS4. And I've done a little bit of uh, tweaking to my road network. Nothing substantial, just little bits here to try and help ease traffic flow. Uh, so one of the things I've noticed is that we're getting a large increase in traffic coming along here. And it's all kind of sticking to just one lane. And that's because the freeway doesn't go anywhere at the moment. It just kind of stops here. So everything's been sort of piling up on this particular off-ramp here. So what I've done is I've added another one here to try and alleviate some of the pressure. You know, siphon off some of that uh, approaching traffic. Uh, and all this does here is then bring out onto this section. This junction here was essentially was just a curve that ran from there around to about here and I've just reworked it slightly into a junction and carried that road along just here as well that then comes down I've put down the grid line here which continues across to where our monorail station is and where it currently stops and then I've just extended that road along the waterfront there as well to this bridge which was already here but I've now completed it and widened it from a single lane bridge to a double lane bridge so we now have you know, that in place as well another way for our traffic to kind of get across to this little industrial area and also to our sort of emergency response area over here and of course that then allows some traffic to go this way or to go along into the industrial zone itself so just kind of trying to provide some additional transport routes and ways in and out for our city we are still getting horrendous problems with traffic around this island during the daytime. It's not so bad at night when there's less traffic on the road. Uh, and this is still getting quite busy at times during the day as well. One thing I have tried to do if I go into my info views, go down to uh, transport here. <clears throat> you can see one of the things that I've done is I've reworked this under the road section a little bit and I've now brought in an extension so uh, whereas this kind of joined off on that junction just there, now I've just put in a, an extra piece of road that runs along here and then spits out just here. And this is again to try and take some of the uh, traffic from this approach that needs to go to the industrial zone straight down like this. And that one's actually feeding off just there but it also allows other traffic that needs to get into the lower parts of the industrial zone an instant access route and that's all done with slip roads so it should move faster than traditional road traffic and of course with no road queues or no traffic queues that'll help speed things up as well uh, one thing i might do is potentially downgrade that from freeway uh, which is what it currently is to uh, standard road because that'll slow traffic speed down a little bit and maybe make it a less attractive option for some of the traffic uh, which means they might use the underpass a little bit more this whole area does kind of need a bit of a redevelopment traffic wise you can see as daytime starts and the traffic increases you can see the problems that we have with this roundabout it just isn't big enough even with its rework so we're going to have to do at some point some pretty heavy redevelopment but we also need to add in some additional ways to get across there so one of the things I've been thinking of is having another uh, offshoot just here and then having a road that comes across and then tweak our road section just here so take this little bit out just here and then have a road coming down from the roundabout here uh, which will then start to come up as a bridge over the railway we'll move those two water pumps and then go across the river moving through there and then connect up to our freeway just over there so that we have that kind of extra you know way in for some of the traffic because anything that from this direction that needs to use the freeway or needs to use the industrial zone it's coming in this way it's uh, coming along here and then it's feeding off and it's all going up here and it has to go all the way up to here before it can then come back in and then down it's a long way to go so it would give a different route a viable alternative route and the other option is obviously to have something coming off just here as well so we could maybe have uh, a freeway connection coming out here which would then go up and over the railway 
and come up here and then to an intersection somewhere around here. So we have different options that we can look at, but we'll get to that in the future. Once again, our power is struggling. We have noticed that our uh, generators have been running low on oil. You know, we're struggling to get some of the uh, relative, or, you know, the needed resources out there. And it's also been suggested to me that, you know, my... Uh, wind turbines are placed too closely together now I think the fact that we now have this city building up here might change the wind flow up here a little bit and in fact you can actually see that these are slightly lower than they were these are showing a predicted a seven as opposed to eight all the way across so we are going to need to re uh, relocate our wind farm again and I'm thinking that we build a new wind farm over here uh, and I'm actually going to space these out a bit better. See if that actually keeps them at a more consistent rate of uh, rate of power production. Put in a couple there, like that. Have a little wind farm over there, and then we'll just run a power line over here. One other thing I've noticed as well with my power is that uh, some of my power lines haven't been working as smoothly as I would hope that they would. So uh, I've noticed that we were finding some areas where you know, a storm would hit and it would damage the wires and cut power out to a block completely and I wouldn't necessarily spot it straight away so one of the things I have done is I've started to uh, double up power connections a little bit so you can see we've got this connection going off here and then into there I've also now got a connection going off this way into here uh, we have uh, a connection that kind of runs all the way along through here even though technically it's not really necessary um, it's just as a kind of a, an extra backup connection uh, I've got a connection now running from here across the river that way as well as two connections running this way so that the whole city kind of keeps that power distribution going as best as we can. We're still not producing enough power. I think we're going to need another solar plant for the daytime. It's the daytime when we have the issues rather than the evening time. Oh, I could if I squeezed it along here, perhaps. Just get one in along here. You know what? I think I might try and put them both along here. If I put that one there, can I move the other one next door? Will it go? Not quite. <laughs> okay. Um, so that kills that idea, effectively. Uh, how about if I relocate this across this way a little bit? Yes, that works. And now, if I relocate this one. Will it sit on the end? Not quite. The road isn't long enough. So let's just make that a little bit longer. There we go. Perfect. So we've got two of those next to each other. That'll help deal with our daytime power problems. This area has now been finished off zoning-wise. So you can see that we've got these extra buildings in. Some of these are residential, some of these are commercial, some of these are offices. Uh, and we'd already placed down some of these buildings. So uh, we've got uh, our posh mall just there. Uh, we've got these Art Deco buildings just there and just there. Uh, we have our... Uh, Robotics Institute from the Art Deco pack just there. Yeah, all those are still still where they were. And of course our golf range just there as well. So this area is starting to really take shape. Uh, and I kind of put another bridge in just here. I don't think this was here last time. I basically I put in a small bridge and then once I was happy with it, I widened it to two lane after letting it run for a little while. Again, just to deal with some of the traffic issues because we were getting a lot of traffic 
it was all just sticking to the one lane and then turning down here adding this junction in here and making it two lane just helped alleviate some of the traffic problems a little bit and uh, uh, widen the road at three lanes so that we've got some traffic that can go straight on and other traffic that can queue up and turn and not cause massive tailbacks at the, at the lights there and then obviously we need to kind of continue that road along down there at some point in the future so everything there seems to be working pretty well so far uh, we are getting a few sort of noise complaints as you always do in high density at some point we will get our metro system up and running around this area to feed into our uh, hub over here uh, and I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with a railway connection as well so still plenty of work for us to do but let's carry on working on this little bit over here to start with so let's drop in some extra roads you can see population wise now we are at 82,000 in fact have we got I think we've got access to airports now I don't even remember seeing that unlock yeah we have we've unlocked airports so uh, that means we've unlocked um, another tile I think I oh, know we must have we've already done that one 75 we already did we did that last time out, I forget. It's been a few days since I sat down and recorded. Um, okay, so, yeah, one more tile to go, which will hit at 90,000. That'll be tile and number nine, the final tile. And once that's in place, uh, there'll be nothing left for us to unlock, and it'll be up to us where we want to place it. I'm still not sure where I want that tile to be. Uh, hmm, choices, choices. Maybe over here I don't know we'll, we'll see what happens when we unlock it but uh, yeah in terms of an, an aerial view you can see our city is definitely starting to uh, to come along as you can see really is quite uh, quite spaced out now it's starting to get quite big so I'm very pleased with the way it's starting to look it's just a shame it's all kind of squashed in so close to the river if uh, if I was happy with tile choice positioning I would have preferred it if you know uh, we had a, more of an overlap on this side of the river than we do on that side I wanted to get the river in but we've had to take up a, a lot of space to be able to get to it of course I realized going forward we could always just create a river with terraforming so maybe next time I do something like this that's something we could perhaps look at would be to uh, maybe you know completely terraform a map before we start building on something we'll see how that goes i don't know if i'm going to do another city on city skylines this might be the last one i do at least for a very long time we'll see anyway back to over here getting distracted again let's start putting in some uh, some blocks for zoning uh i want this to have a little bit of space between uh, between some of these roads but not too much uh, no I don't want that connecting up just there don't want a junction along there I will have a junction coming off down here though Let's uh, push that up there a bit. Okay. Hmm. Might possibly take uh, this piece of Audrey Street out. I don't know yet. Let's continue to uh, drive this along here. Take it to there for now. I'm going to want to have sort of uh, extra blocks going up, but not all the way up. All the way along here, little side streets. We'll 
keep a bit of a space there. That means we could potentially put a park in on that corner somewhere. And let's bring some of these roads down to connect up. Let's take this one out. Uh, actually, no. Let's just rework this a little bit and think this through. There we go. So, let's make these connecting roads. Let's take that one out. Let's try and apply some similar kind of spacing on this side. There we go. Still got enough space to potentially put a big building in the, in the corner just there if we need to. Let's bring that down. Do I want it to be that one? Yeah, let's do that there. And I'm, I am going to connect this one down. Like that. We already have this junction coming down here, so we might as well. Uh, although I am, I might possibly actually... No, it's not lined up, is it? Yeah, we'll do it like that. So it's not completely symmetrical, but it'll give us a good kind of baseline, I think. And then along here, let's bring some roads down and kind of connect through here a little bit where we can. a big block. Actually, no, let's try and get a little bit of kind of uh, symmetry in this section if we can. Yeah, there we go. So we have our next kind of block over there and we also have space to come out over this way as well. So let's let's do something over here. Just with some small cider streets. Let's go with a bit of free form along here. that back around again. There we go. Uh, just wondering if I want a side connection on this junction here. Probably not. leave that gap just there I think so there we go we've got a nice little expansion running along here that works quite nicely let's connect that up there as well I think we're ready to start zoning this bit in here as well so let's get some piping in place down here. We're going to need to increase our water intake, so we're going to need to build a new pumping area at some point pretty soon. 
because the one we have is almost overloaded. And once we get stuff building in on this side here, it definitely will be. So uh, we have a big demand for office and also a bit of a demand for industry as well. So I figure we can get a little bit of industry in just in this section just here. So let's go ahead and start drawing in some industry. And again, this might help alleviate some of our industrial traffic as well. Let's go with... Uh, select and there we go so I have a nice little block of industry along there actually let's go uh, let's go with a, a medium paintbrush for this bit Paint this section along here. And now we'll go to fill just to finish these off. There we go. And let's put offices in here to kind of separate that out a little bit. May get a few grumbles about land value on the offices, but we'll see how it goes. Do I have power over here? I don't think I do. No, I don't. So we're going to need to get some power coming in this way. Uh, again, we're going to put in what might necessarily, at first glance, look like an unnecessary power connection. But I've had a lot of these uh, just individual connections get damaged by the storms. Be even if they're small storms. They've still come in and they've still caused big damage um, to my power network. Just by taking out a single pylon, it breaks the connection across a river. So by having multiple connections, establishing multiple zones, it, they're, they're kind of fail-safes. So if one goes down, there's still another one there that could be fixed. And uh, a whole district doesn't go dark until I suddenly realise that there's a problem. Of course, one other thing we're going to need is we're going to need a rail connection. And I do still like the idea of having a bridge coming up over this part of the freeway into this area along here. So that is, you know, this corner section here, that may well be get redeveloped so I can actually have a road going up and over the freeway and then back down again on this side. We'll see how we, how we go with that as we progress. Just need stuff to come in on this section down here. Okay, there we go, we're back in. And you can see that we now have something over here, so that should create our connection. Yes, the lines are blue now. So even though they're not technically inside the blue line, just the little green outer ring there is touching the edge of the power zoning, so that counts. The uh, the lines are blue, which means they are connected. So we now have power in this in little industrial section that we're building over here. And we're going to need to add in space for workers to feed into this area. We're also going to need a commercial zone as well. So we're going to go back to select. I'm going to block in some commerce running down here. Like that. Let's start blocking in some residential. stuff just there like that there we go so we have space for more residences to pop up so that we can provide workforce for uh, for this area plus we've got commerce as well uh, we need to zone this 
So let's see. Let's go to a small zoning tool to try and get a straight cursor. Uh, it looks reasonably straight. We'll need to obviously tidy this up again on the other side, but for now this will do the job. And this is way more than I need. Oops, that's, that's too high. We're going to create a separate zone for the industrial area itself as well. Let's uh, fill all this in. There we go. And now let's do this section here. So just take that off first of all because I don't want that there and again where we get these kind of zones colliding we get this very smudgy uneven line we'll tidy that up in a moment trying to create the basic outline for the zone while we have a reasonably straight cursor and then we'll tweak it so this needs to come down this way Clear all that off. And same along here as well. We'll take that top section off. Here we go, it's looking a little bit tidier. Uh, let's just trim it along here as well. I might be trimming it a bit too much. Right, now let's tidy up this this kind of join along here. Oops, wrong wrong button. Now I've just created another district. <laughs> there we go. That's bye bye Linden Hills. So again I need to square up my uh, cursor. There we go. The reason I do this is so that I can make sure that if I want to change a road policy, I can actually make sure that the road in question is actually covered. So, uh, it's just force of habit. I mean, I probably won't end up changing that policy, but it's nice to have the option to do it if I want to. Okay, so, uh, no residency is going in yet. It's all commercial that's kind of zoning in here. So this industry area is going to struggle for a little while until we can get more people living in this area that can then sort of feed across into that one. Let's see if we can go ahead and well, let's change the policy in this area first of all as well. 
So this policy wants to have a schools out policy. There we go. Butler Square, and it is actually quite square. Look, that's uh, <laughs> it's kind of coincidental. Let's go ahead and put in some basic facilities over here. So we need uh, the important stuff like police and fire. Let's put police there. Let's put fire. Actually, no. Let's do it the other way around. Oh, what am I doing? That's what I'm meant to be clicking on. Let's put police at that end. fire at the other end because that's going to be needed more over here than uh, than police are. Police will still be needed but yeah, you know what I mean. What is our health situation looking like? There's a hospital over there. Do I want to put in another hospital? It can't hurt, can it? Our health capacity is massive. Let's just put in a small a small health plant like this instead. A clinic. Let's get that here next to the police. Again, so that's more for these guys than uh, than anything else. Uh, crematoriums. I've got one there. One there. I suppose I could stick another one on the end here. Or maybe... Maybe just there, yeah. That works. Uh, education. I'm going to want the school system. the schools to be. Somewhere on this block, I think. And let's see if we can get a playground in there as well. Yes, we can. Beautiful. Yeah, a large one wouldn't have fit. But a small one will. That works. Speaking of parks, we've got this big space here. Yes, there we go. A nice big park in that corner. That'll make the area more attractive. And immediately you can see the upgrades pinging across our commercial buildings few of our um, industry buildings are getting level ups as well although that's mainly I think due to the other services uh, I think that's it do we need a higher education campus over here we got no because we've got the university and the campus there so we've got plenty of uh, plenty of capacity don't need any more throwing in just there. So basically, we're just going to have to wait for this to kind of start zoning in now. There's no real demand for residential at the moment, uh, mainly because we've just added in this section over here, and some of those buildings are still leveling up. So I don't think we're going to get that much of a demand for residency over here yet. But as the city continues to improve, we will naturally start to get a few buildings popping in. All the places are laid out for them, the framework's in place and we can go ahead and just drop in a few little services here and there just to make it slightly more enticing for when they do actually arrive let's stick a park on this corner for example just there Uh, let's get some basketball courts or something along the bottom here, maybe. We keep going with a basketball court. There's, there's just so few options when it comes to this sort of thing, unfortunately, for, for 
PlayStation users. Xbox have got some extra mods that they can use, not many. I think, well, certainly not many in the com in the scheme of things when you compare to uh, to PC, but it's a lot more than we've got because we don't have Dilly. <laughs> so. Let's plonk that one just there. Yeah, really just the one. Oh, some beach volleyball courts, perhaps, along here as well. Yeah, why not? Put a beach volleyball court in next door. And our old favourite, the skate park. Let's put that in near the school. Oh, it won't fit. Unless... do that. Now it should fit. <laughs> Fantastic. There we go. Skate park, high school, playground, junior school. Excellent stuff. That works out that block very nicely indeed. So yeah, we've got a great big block of space available for people when they move in. Just got to wait for them to move in. Uh, one thing I am going to do as well is upgrade the speed, first of all. Upgrade these roads to triple lane like we did with the uh, other one. Or that exit lane, anyway. That one's triple lane, that one's dual lane. That's the way we'll keep it. Again, just so it gives our traffic more options in terms of which direction they want to go. In fact, I think we could probably do four lane. Let's try four lane over here as well. I want to see if traffic's going to use all four of the lanes. I'm only seeing the first two being used at the moment. Oh, there's lane three. I don't expect to see lane four being used. But it's there, just in case. I think if anything's going to use it, it'll be emergency traffic coming off the freeway. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at all the people coming in on this section now. Oh, we are starting to get... Is that residential? Or is that off? No, this is residential, isn't it? We're starting to get a little bit of residential growth up here. In our high density. Let's throw in a little bit more office along here as well. Just to kind of give that separation between the noisy hubbub of the, of the commercial zone. Feeling a little under the weather. You have to excuse me today. But needed to get this recorded. So there again, you can see there is our problem with the water. Uh, it has been pointed out that the the problem with this is that the whole riverbed is essentially tabletop flat all the way along here. There's no change in elevation really along the river. So that's potentially what's causing the problems or we get this you know uh, that's why we get these kind of weird patches where the river just disappears like that and then slowly starts to rebuild so I'm not really sure I mean we could try terraforming it to try and fix that but it is just a bit of a peculiarity on this map and I think it's just something we'll, we'll just live with 
we'll just see it happen every now and again and just go, well, that looks a bit weird and carry on regardless. You see a lot of businesses failing, but now we're starting to see you know, uh, a lot more stuff springing up. Obviously, we just zoned in a load of office buildings, but we're also getting a lot of residential buildings uh, coming in now that we've increased our office demand. We could probably do with a little bit more commerce as well. I don't know where to put the extra commerce. I suppose along there we could put in a block of commerce. That has uh, definitely made an impact on our commercial bar, as you can see. Let's start doing some spot checking on these buildings over here. So there's a couple of jobs going there, but not many. But 19 overeducated workers in this area already. That's because I think most of the jobs are being taken from areas around here by the look of it. And maybe even over here. Uh, oh, we need to put in the metro st uh, stop, don't we? Not metro, sorry. Monorail stop. Where is the monorail? There it is. Monorail station with road, perhaps? things don't like connecting off there for some reason uh, weird might be because of the junction let's draw out a little bit of road and try connecting to the end of that there we go that's better so, uh, let's upgrade some track, or some road to include track. And there we go, we have another little monorail loop. Could even run track from there along this. Well, we'd have to mess up the road network a little bit. I don't really want to mess around with that too much. Yeah, we'll leave that. We'll leave that as is. We do need to add some piping over here. Let's uh, just drag that down a touch. There we go. Uh, let's create a line. So, we've got... Uh, how many services going in here? Two. Okay, let's create a new line. From there to there. There we go. And let's see if we can find our new line. Here comes the train. Something on the platform in front of us. Got to wait. There we go. Hopefully the other one's going to go in. Oh, no, that's waiting for the same platform as well. Maybe we need a bigger hub over there. And a nice little extension on our monorail. 
a little bit of a queue. Very busy over here. I'm starting to wonder if that hub has got enough stops. Oh, now we're getting queues. Too many lines all coming in at the wrong at the wrong time. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh, all right, let's manage the lines. So we want. What do we have coming down this way? We have the yellow line. We have this line here. That line goes along the top, doesn't it? So what's this one? There's that one going along the top, and there's that one going down there. That one goes off that way, down to there. What do I have going in this way? Two lines. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I need to think about this. Uh, well, we do have too many services trying to use <clears throat> uh, a very busy section of track just here. The alternative would be to replace one of the lines, remove it completely, or replace it with something else. Uh, I'm thinking we take this line out here. So I need... Which one is it? This one. So that goes in on this platform, so I need to move that stop. I'm going to take that stop over to here. Oh, it's going in on the wrong platform, look. Damn it. Alright, so we're going to delete that line completely then. Now, we should only have one service in here, which we do. Okay. Uh, this is where it gets complicated, trying to make sure that the lines don't tangle each other. I'm going out of service, that train. I think it is. This is the new station. So, start a line there. To run that across to there. It's going to go in on the wrong platform, but... That can't be avoided. Go back that way. And then this other line here... That's the one that comes down this way and goes in on here. And then the pink line it goes out that way. That's a lot of line swapping to yeah, we'll just we'll just live with it. It's too much line swapping. So we'll just end up with a couple of uh, monorails queuing after each other. <clears throat> but that should hopefully do the job that we need it to do. So. Time for us to... Uh, <clears throat> time for us to add in some subscriber names. So let me open up the file. Like I said, not feeling very well today, so I'm not very well prepared. I would normally have this already open, and I completely forgot. So we're going to do two today. Uh, Inigo Nevada. Sorry if I'm butchering your name here. Again, having a cold it doesn't seem to help. Uh, you have asked for a district, and we have plenty of new districts to choose from. So... Let's see. Let's reallocate some of these ones over here. These ones that we're quite quite happy with. That aren't going to go through major changes anytime soon. 
Pearl Park. We'll rename this. There we go. So uh, we now have Nevada Park for uh, Inigo. And uh, Alexander Wimbley has also requested a district as well. So uh, uh, Sunset Park next door, we'll rename that. And we'll keep this as a park as well. So this will be Wimbley Park. There we go, just checking spelling. Oh, I put an extra E in that shouldn't be there. There we go. So, we have Wimbley Park and Nevada Park. They are the two subscriber additions for this time out. So, our city is uh, continuing to expand in this little area over here. We've got a new industry complex, which now, as you can see, seems to actually be running quite smoothly. A couple of jobs available there. None there. None there. That's office. Uh, none there. Yeah, look at that. Almost all these jobs are now taken. There's only one or two left over. Uh, so our new industry area is working quite nicely so far. Our new commercial, residential and office areas. This side of the river seems to be coming along quite nicely. And we've got a new monorail connection over here, which will probably need to be tweaked a little bit. But we'll work on that uh, you know, when we can. So... I think we've made some decent progress this time out, and uh, you know, uh, I'm just trying to figure out where we're going to go next. I think the next logical thing is to try and complete this freeway connection coming down here a bit, and then link it in with a junction somewhere over here, get it connected up that way, so that we can start planning our railway and get the rest of the railway stuff in. So I'll have to have a think about how I'm going to do that. But uh, yeah, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob, and I'll be back with some more JBPG City on our City Skylines mass transit playthrough very soon.